Oh, yeah, we really got in a lot of fist fights, really, for having long hair. We used to play clubs, and the sailors would come out and wait for us because we had... I mean, long hair was like People just that like were touching your ears and oh, touching, touching your, ears. your eyebrows. Ooh. That was long back then. That was when the Beatles were freaks because they had such long hair, you know. It was against school rules to have long hair then, so we put Vaseline and Brill Cream and a little dabby do you. We put the whole tube on before <laughs> school, and we'd grease it back and plaster it down, and, and it would be good. All the teachers thought we had short hair, but then at gym... You had to take a shower. It was mandatory. You had to take a shower after gym. It was right. the rules. One of you two. Know how you know the other one. Right? Yeah. yeah. There are rules in this life, and the rule was you had to wash your body after gym. So we'd take a shower, and Leonard Skinner was our gym coach. That's Leonard Skinner, spelled right. And so he would walk through the showers every day, checking up on his students, and he'd see us taking a shower and see the Vaseline out of our hair, and it would touch our ears. It would touch our cheek. It would touch our shoulders, you know. But so he finally kicked us out. and kicked, Well, he suspended us and kicked us out so long that we finally quit when I was 16. That was the legal age you could quit when you were 16, so we quit then. Because we were playing the church dances and the teen clubs and the, and the clubs around town, and we had to be cool, man. And, you know, we had to be long-haired and, and look like an uh, English group. And, you know, you mentioned the, the English groups. People say, where do you get your influence? How did you learn? We always, we came from British music. We listened to the Yardbirds and, and uh, Clapton, you know, and, and Jeff Beck and, and the Beatles and the Stones and the Animals, all those groups. And that's where we got our star that's what we learned from they were our idols and gods at that time as a matter of fact i swear i really did think the beatles were like gods i i had this thing when i was going to school i would listen to the radio i couldn't afford a uh, record player then i had a little radio if they ever came on i would never turn them off and if i was late for school had to miss school or had to miss church or get my butt beat by my mama because i'd miss the chore if a Beatles song was on, I, it was like against my religion to turn them off.